Welcome everyone to the first and probably only United News where we are going to be talking about MLB, stuff that's happening in the MLB, some of the top stories that are going on there. We're also going to be talking some MLB to show 21 stuff. There's not much of that, but we're still going to talk about it. This is going to be a fun little video. We're just going to talk and I think it, it's going to be basically be an edited podcast kind of type of thing. Whatever, shut up. Let's get into our first story of the day. Look at our first story of the day. We got the Akil Badu walk-off from yesterday. This kid is just a stud. He's doing super well, and he may even be the favorite Real Rookie of the Year. He's doing super well. Moving into our next segment, we got Garrett Cole on the mound versus the Baltimore Orioles. He absolutely dominated. Seven innings of work, no runs, 13 strikeouts. Some of them are on the screen now. He did super well for the Yankees, and this is a big turnaround game for them as they are going to they won seven to nothing. Big actually they won seven to two because they choked at the end. I forgot about that actually. So yeah, Garrett Cole pitched well. The Yankees bats exploded again. This is a good look for them. Especially after a rocky start versus Toronto to begin the season. Great turnaround for the Yankees. Now we're going to be looking at Nick Castellanos. As we all know, this little bench carrying brawl led to him getting a two game suspension, which he is appealing. And rightfully so. He's on a super hot streak. He's hit four home runs. I can't find a clip of the fourth one he recently hit today. But he has been doing super well for the Cincinnati Reds, and he's been leading them into first place. This is super good for Cincy. And, I mean, Nicholas Castellanos could even be your NL MVP. He's doing very, very well for the Reds, leading them to quite a few wins and clobbering baseballs and starting bench-clearing balls. You know, sometimes that stuff happens in the middle of all this. Sometimes stuff, that stuff happens. Moving into our next segment, we got the standings. We're going to be looking at all the standings for all the divisions. Starting it off with the AL East, we got the Orioles, Blue Jays, and Yankees all in a three-way tie for first place in that division. And the Rays and Red Sox are both standing at two or three, one game behind them. The Yankees play the Orioles, so whoever wins their next game will take a lead over the other. And so do the Rays and the Red Sox. Blue Jays are currently playing Texas. Now, there's not a bunch of interesting storylines for this, for the AL East, but if we're going to move into the AL Central, we got the Royals somehow on top, followed by the Twins, Tigers, White Sox, and Indians. Uh, the Royals have been playing pretty well, haven't had the much stiff competition, so, I mean, it's not like they face much of a challenge. The Twins have been playing the Tigers, and I don't know who else they've been playing. But still only half game back, and the Tigers have been playing super well, powered by Akil Badu, and some of those other guys have been really stepping up for the Tigers, leading them 3-2. And the White Sox so far have been very disappointing, and I just got some recent news that Tim Anderson is going to the injured list. Not good for them, especially with them struggling only at 500 right now. They had high hopes. Then the baseball team has hit, been hit heavily by the loss of Francisco Lindor. Taking a look at the AL West, we have the Astros sitting on top, followed by the Angels, Rangers, Mariners, and 0-6 Athletics. That is not good. They need to get a win tonight because, I mean, I expected them to make the playoffs. I expected them to still have a pretty solid team, but they are not looking good to start the season. The Astros have looked really good despite how much I hate it. Angels also have been looking pretty good as well. And Rangers and Mariners, they've been decent. Nothing special. But the AL West is still a very good division, and Angels... Looking really good, which is super exciting that maybe they'll make a playoff push. Take a look at the NL side of things. We got the AL East and Nationals are in first place, of course. Uh, they've played one game. They've obviously had the COVID situation. They've only played one game. I'm not really counting that that much. So, yeah. The, uh, so, yeah, that doesn't really matter. Phillies 4-1, and one, they've looked really super good so far. The Mets 1-1, one and one, of course, haven't played a lot of games, but look, looked solid against the Phillies. Marlins, of course, and then the Braves are 1-4 and four because they actually did beat the Nationals, but before I took the screenshots, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, yeah, Braves got to pick it up. 1-4, and four, they got to win versus Washington, but they still got to do better than that. Phillies have looked super good and surprising as well. Taking a look at the NL Central, the Reds up top, followed by the Cubs, Cardinals, Brewers, and and Pirates, not surprising at the bottom. Brewers, I'd expect to do a little better as well as the Cardinals. and But the Reds absolutely running away, doing super well to start this season, followed by Nick Castellanos. And one other guy, I always forget his name. What's his name? Is Tyler Naquin. Tyler Naquin, they are both doing super well for Cincinnati. And maybe they'll make a playoff push this year. Maybe Castellanos will even win MVP. He has four home runs. He's absolutely popping off so far to start the season. 
Rounding things out with the NL West, we got the Dodgers on top uh, by the Padres, Diamondbacks, Giants, and Rockies. No surprisingly, the Rockies are not doing that well. Diamondbacks and Giants aren't expected to do that well either. But if we're taking a look at the Padres, they lost a big man. They lost Fernando Tatis Jr. with a, a bit of a major minor injury. It depends on the severity of it. I'm not entirely sure of the exact details. But I think the Padres are rushing trying to get him back, and I think that might not be a good idea. Could lead to some further injury, and the Dodgers are just being the Dodgers. After an opening day loss, they are still absolutely cruising, continuing to show that they're the best team in baseball, man. The Dodgers are still super-duper good. To close out United News today, we are going to be looking at the top 20-ish fantasy players according to Yahoo. This is just what I'm going to be using. Some of your fantasy might be actually different than mine. But anyway, at number one, we got Ryan McMahon. He had that three-homer game against Colorado, and that is propelling him to number one spot. Second, Nate Lowe. He's been doing really well as well with 14 RBIs already through the season. He's going off. Then, of course, Nicholas Castellanos, one home run behind. He does actually have four. Uh, yeah, once again, Nicholas Castellanos is doing really well. Four, we got Whit Merrifield. He's also doing super well. At number five, we got Tyler Naquin, who kind of came out of nowhere from Cleveland. But, yeah, he's doing super good as well. A lot of these guys are doing extremely, extremely well. Then we got Nelly Cruz's Aegis Wonder, of course. J.D. Martinez, Shoa Otani's batter card. Cattell Marte, Yerman Mercedes, the rookie wonder. Byron Buxton, Mookie Bet seems a little higher than I would think. Jared Walsh, Alex Bregman, and then Akil Badu, the GOAT himself. Yeah, a lot of these guys. So if you haven't picked up some of these guys like Mercedes or a Badu, I do recommend you pick them up for your fantasy league. They could be very helpful. And even like Nate Lowe or Ryan McMahon could have a good season as well. And that will be the end of the first ever edition of United News. This will likely be the last edition of United News, first and only. But if you guys really do enjoy it, I might do it again. If you want to see more MLB content, please leave a like and subscribe. That is the best way to support the channel. I'm United Gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And thank you for watching United News.